my super friends welcome to my channel in the era of globalization whole of the world is just a click away whatever it is and whichever is the field nothing is unknown to us even our kitchen gives the aroma of world's famous recipes however there are few things that make our dish harmful to our health one of such dishes is a zinomoto if you have ever tried any Chinese recipe at home, you must have heard its name. If not, I will share some information about it today. Azinomoto or monosodium glutamate or MSG. It is somewhat shining salt like product which you can buy from any grocery store. You will be surprised to know that Azinomoto is not a taste enhancer. Rather, it is a salt of slow poison which reduce the functioning of our taste buds due to which we are unable to sense the low quality or tastelessness of food. If you remember three or four years back a noodles company has banned due this MSG as it was found in higher quantity than recommended quantity. If you consume fast food three to four times a week, first have a look on the drawback of MSG. If the quantity of MSG or Azinomoto exceed the recommended quantity, it may result into headache, dizziness, more sweating or more thrusting. It leaves ill effects on retina of our eyes. It causes etching in the muscles of our leg and knees. It reduces the calcium stored in our body and thus weakens or bones. It results in sudden increase or decrease of blood pressure. Thus, BP patients should avoid eating MSG. It hides the bad taste of food. It is used to hide the low quality of food. Azinomoto adversely affects the physical and mental development of kids. I will personally suggest that the pregnant woman and kids below the age of 5 years should not have the food containing MSG. It is the consumed by pregnant ladies. There is problem in reaching the food to fetus. Increased usage of MSG may result into some sort of diet related allergy or some other allergies to us to as it excites our digestion system and adversely affects the neuron of our brain. Based upon various researches, its recommended quantity has been kept at 50 mg in 1 kg, only 50 mg. You can imagine if big companies also don't follow it, then how can we trust the local food joints the, or restaurant or the same? If you cannot leave Chinese food, then at least leave MSG. You can prepare recipes without MSG also and can also order food without MSG. You will be surprised to know that now MSG is big and used in soup, meat and many other recipes also. At least you will be able to know the original taste of that food. So from now onwards, don't compromise your health for taste. Eat healthy, live healthy. So this was today's video. Till next video. Bye-bye.